Hello, everyone. This podcast is being brought to you by Patrick McAllister and Jessica Tidd, two undergraduate biology students at St. Michael's College. Today, we will be discussing a unique and really cool bacterial species, Leptothrix discophora. The organism of study, Leptothrix discophora, is from the phylum Proteobacteria, which tells us it has a gram-negative cell wall. Its class, beta proteobacteria, is a very diverse collection of both lithotrophic and phototrophic organisms. Its order, Bucholdiorales, is known to contain organisms that can break down aromatic structures as well as various inorganic molecules. One organism that does this is Herminimus arsicinoxidans, which breaks down arsenic as part of its metabolism. Camaminodase, L. discophorus family, is known for containing rod-shaped aerobic organisms. An example of this is Malichia spinosa, an aerobic rod-shaped bacterium commonly found in soil. Leptothrix, its genus, is a combination of two roots, leptos, meaning fine or small, and thrix, meaning hair. Thus, leptothrix denotes fine hair. In a similar fashion, discophora, its species, is a combination of two roots, discos, meaning disc-shaped, and phoros, meaning bearing. Thus, discophora denotes disc-bearing. In breaking down L. discophora's name, fine hair, and disc-bearing, its overall shape becomes evident. Now that we know a little bit about its phylogeny and etymology, we can describe L. discophora as a microscopic, filamentous, or rod-shaped, aerobic bacterium. It may appear yellow, colorless, or dark brown, as seen in the photo here, based on the nature of the sheaths that surround it. We'll talk about sheaths a little later. L. discophora is often seen to us, however, in colorful films, which we will also discuss later. Its diameter ranges from 1.5 to 2 micrometers, and its length from about 7 to 8 micrometers, depending on what type of medium it is in. It commonly forms long chains. L. discophora is commonly found in mildly warm, aquatic environments that are slow-moving or still, such as lakes, streams, and ponds. L. discophora has been studied throughout all corners of the earth that contain iron and manganese-rich habitats. It has been studied in places such as the Great Lakes, Florida, and Tokyo. They are also found in metal pipes because of their affinity for transition metals. Its optimal growth temperature ranges between 10 and 35 degrees Celsius, and its optimal growth pH ranges between 6.5 and 7.5. The sheaths of the Leptothrix genus are composed of two layers, a thicker outer capsule layer followed by a thinner inner layer, which attaches to the outer layer of the gram-negative cell wall of the bacterium. The sheath's thickness can vary based on its surroundings. One study found that the sheath wall thickness of a leptothrix species in iron-plated medium ranged from 200 to 250 nanometers, while in iron powder medium ranged between 100 and 150 nanometers. The contents of the sheaths can break down various inorganic molecules, specifically transition metals, such as iron and manganese. l discophora oxidizes inorganic molecules, such as Fe2+, ferrous iron, to obtain reducing equivalents like Fe3+, ferric iron. Ferric iron can then be used in various biosynthesis and energy conservation pathways via aerobic respiration, as shown here in the diagram. The electrons gathered from these redox reactions can aid in the production of ATP, a primal energy source for the bacterial cell. In this manner, we would define l discophora as a chemolithotroph. This oxidizing ability, as described before, makes L. discovora unique and crucial to many environments. For one, it can remove harmful metallic compounds from the environment. Additionally, it can aid in biogeochemical cycles by converting these transition metals, mainly iron, to a form that can be utilized by surrounding organisms, such as plants. After oxidation has occurred, the products of the redox reactions create a thick coat around the sheaths of L. discophora, which is seen by the naked eye as a colorful, oily film. Although we normally think of oils as bad for the environment, this film is not harmful and actually looks really pretty if seen in the right lighting. So, let's say you're out for a stroll and happen to see an oily film that you think might be L. discophora. How can you know for sure? Well, if you run your finger or a stick 
through the puddle and it comes back together, then it's oil. However, if it shatters, as seen in this photo, then it's El Disco Fora. On behalf of Jessica and myself, thank you very much for listening to our podcast on Leptothrix Discophora. We hope you learned something of value today. If you have any interest in learning more about Leptothrix Discophora, feel free to read any of these articles provided here, which we also use to create this podcast.